Hey Keith, I've got a new puzzle for you to solve. Can you design a way for your brother not to get arrested? Oh, by the way, you have 20 seconds to do it. Keith, there are agents here from the FBI. What's going on? How would I know? Maybe they're here to take Max away for whatever he's hiding from us. That's what I'm asking about. You do have a tendency to overreact, and this would fit neatly into the category of overreaction. Honestly? You honestly think that I... No, Keith. That's why I'm asking, because I don't know. But I am worried. Something about this doesn't feel right. I would never. Yeah, I wonder who sent in the anonymous tip. Alright, well, I don't think he's gonna help me. I should leave him alone for now. He's agitated. It's best to let him do his thing. Alright, how the hell do I distract them? Uh, I'm just gonna go to bed. Good night. Is there anything I can actually do in here? It's a metal bird cage. No birds in it anymore, but... I still like having it in my room. It reminds me of a prison cell. It's so comforting. I love this thing. It's just storage for now. Eventually I'll get a chocolate stash going. <laughs> this is mom's necklace. It's so beautiful. I don't think any of this has to do with the investigation that's happening right outside the door, but what the hell, let's do it. I'll bring the necklace with me. It's good luck. Uh... Okay. Is that going to help me? A big, bright view of the city. It's exhilarating to have it right here every day. I wanted a walk-in. I got a walk-in. It's so big, I feel like I need more clothes. Hey you, long time no see. All right, well, I'm doing a bunch of completely inappropriate things to the situation. So let's go back and try to remove the papers. Does this actually have anything to do with what I'm doing right now? It was Mom's. Too bad she couldn't have passed it on to me herself. I... I'm pretty sure this has nothing to do with what I'm doing. I can't even use items on him. What? Yeah, what am I doing with this? Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what is this? I could have sworn I saw her put something down over here. Hmm. Something like a necklace? I should think of something else. God damn it. A flower? <laughs> okay, so I need something to put down to distract him. What can I put down? What about one of those things that Keith has? Like he's got a bunch of little bits and... bits and bobs on his desk. Mm hmm. Bingo! What's the deal with the fancy pen? That's not your kind of thing. Remember the handheld tracker I mentioned working on the other day? That's right, you talked about that. So what does it track? It should be able to follow any non-ferrous metal. I don't understand. It doesn't track any one specific thing. You put metal near it, press the button, and it will stay locked onto that. It beeps more the closer you get to the target. Wow, this is amazing, Keith. I'll just take these. I'm not sure how I can use that right now. Like, am I supposed to just put that down? It's not set to track anything, so it wouldn't do any good. Alright, well I could combine them. I've set the pen to track this. But why? 
If I do that, then he'll follow the homing pen right to me. That is something I don't need. Really? So I'm setting this homing pen to get set to the necklace, and then I set the necklace somewhere else to confuse him? Like, what? Okay. This is a bit silly. But no matter, I will forge my way through it. And come out the other side. Where should I put it? Mm, in here? Just somewhere far away. Aha. Here we go. No, not there. N never mind, I meant to say nope. That's totally not the place where it needs to go. Put it in the fire. No. Really? That's not where it goes? Um... I should think of something else. Alright, maybe upstairs? I guess I could put it over by Keith and maybe he'll end up talking to him once he's up there? Here we go. I'll just put this near him. Maybe it'll calm him down. Well, if the necklace doesn't calm him down, then I'm sure he'll be calmed by Samuel Adams, or whatever his name is, Samuel McAdams, coming up talking to him. Nothing quite calms the nerves like having a, an FBI agent talk to you. Okay, there we go. Yeah, totally nonchalant. I just stuffed something under the papers right in front of him. And he knows what it is. Son, I see you hiding over there. I'm a federal agent. I have some questions. Sorry, Keith. None of that made any sense at all. If he saw me stuff something under there, then why didn't he just say, Stop, what the fuck are you doing? But anyway, whatever. Alright. I need to find a way to take these before they get to them. Y yeah, like you could... You just take them. I need to find a way to take these before they get to them. Do I need to distract her too? These look like the papers I got Keith to sign. I can't just take them? I need to... Okay, well she did. She was the one that yelled at me when I tried to mess with them, so I guess she can see me too. Excuse me, can I just cut in for a second? No, you can't. We're busy here. Fine, asshole. No point in trying again. So what do I do about them? I don't I don't have any idea at all. I really can't just take it. I mean it's it's right there. I need to find a way. No. Uh, a phone call. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, yeah, there's a phone in the office. Um, do I know her number, though? Whoops. I don't think I know her number, but let's give this a shot. 
Isn't this like some fancy, fancy tablet phone thing? Maybe I can just search the internet? Hello, Anton Towers' main office. Scorobius? You're down in the office? Oh, Cordelia, it's you. I couldn't imagine who'd be calling. Do you need something? There are FBI agents here talking to Max. I don't like it. Do you have any idea what's going on? No, but rest assured that after dealing with headhunting investors and city government officials, a few federal agents will be a cakewalk. Max can handle himself. Um, bring files. Bring what files? I think just coming up would be enough because it'd probably distract her. She'd turn around. But yeah, what is this one? We need some files brought up. It has to do with the investigation. Do you mind? Oh, very well. Files pertaining to what? <sighs> oh, I guess this would just be for me. Uh, well, I'd like to take everything. But I guess I'll just take information on Jeff Therian. Yeah. Anything you have on Jeff Therian. Therian? I don't think I'm familiar with that name. Max must be mistaken. Okay. Um, Max's business rivals? Everything we have on people or groups that Max has a contentious relationship with. That's not a negligible amount. From just the past year, then. But don't just bring them up and put them anywhere. We need to be careful. What shall I do with them? Hmm. Uh, try to swap them out. Swap them out with what? Well, obviously just giving them to Max isn't a good idea. And leaving them in the kitchen is also not a good idea, so let's try to swap them out. Swap them out for the files on the dinner table. Very well. I'll be up momentarily. Okay, this is getting even more bizarre. Like, what kind of crazy-ass scheme is this? Just to move papers from the table. This is getting bizarre. Sir? Sir! What are you doing? Leave that alone. We still need to look around. We can't have you touching anything. Oh, uh, yes. My <laughs> apologies. Yep, everything's going by the books. I just, uh, went into the bedroom, grabbed my mother's necklace, and then went up to Keith and grabbed his little pen tracker thing and connected the pen tracker thing to the necklace, and then I dropped the pen tracker thing right in front of, uh, Samuel McAdams, and then I put the necklace... Actually, no, I put the necklace over at Keith's again, and then I dropped the pen thing right in front of Samuel McAdams, and then he saw it, and then he went to Keith, and then I tried to distract Madison Davies with Scorobius, my bizarrely named... I don't know what he is. Is, that, is he our lawyer or what? Like, this is turning into a farce. What is this? It's just one scene, and I'm gonna get through it, but this is so bizarre, it's actually really funny. I can't wait to see how I finally solve this. All right, do I just have him come up then? Like, doesn't Madison find it suspicious that I'm going from room to room, making calls, and shuffling things about? Anton Towers, main office. It's me again. All right, just come up. I need you up here to help me. Max could be in serious trouble. Dear girl, I currently have no interest with Max's concerns. He can handle himself, and I have business to take care of down here. Okay, so I need an excuse. I see. We need some files brought up. Oh, very... Um... Guess this? The Inthon Towers. All relevant labor and financial records, that sort of thing. But don't just bring them up and put them anywhere. We need to be careful. What shall I do with them? Alright, well trying to swap them out obviously doesn't work. Give them to Max? I don't Give know. Give them to Max. Very well. 
I'll be up momentarily. Let's see how this works. Sir, stop. What is this? Just dropping off some documents that were requested. There's nothing pertinent here. Get these out of here. They'll just get in the way. You can carry on with your work when we're done. Okay. There's nothing pertinent there, so I guess I need to select one of the other options. And the story gets even stranger. Anton Towers. Yep, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yep, okay, okay, sure, yeah, fine. Okay, sounds good. Um... I don't know, what's pertinent to the investigation? What did she want? I guess this, financial records? Bring up some old financial... How old? Yes, that will be fine. But don't just bring them up... What shall I... Give them to Max? Give them to Max. Very well. If this doesn't work, I'm definitely using the hint system. This might be kind of Excuse funny, but me, it's gonna get sir. really... What are you doing? This man is under investigation. Did I just see you try to hand him something? Oh yes, sorry. Didn't realize it would be an issue. Yes. These might have what we're looking hmm. for. They should shed light on a few things. I'm gonna have to ask you some questions. Okay. Although she's still looking the same way, but maybe she's distracted? I don't know, this is the strangest, this, I think this is actually the strangest puzzle out of all of the three episodes. Oh, thank I God, thank clear. you. Okay, I need to get these somewhere safe. My room. I need to hide these. The closet is probably the best place to do that. Okay. I'll hide them in here. All right, that should take care of that. And... Wait a minute, am I... I just realized something. Am I actually changing what's already happened in the past, or am I just redoing what's already happened in the past? I'm pretty sure I'm just going through what already happened, right? Yeah. We'll be yeah. in touch if we need anything else from you, Mr. Smith. Thank you for your cooperation. Max. FBI agents? Max, what the hell is going on? Why were they here? I was upstairs being questioned. I... I need to calm down. Easy, Keith. Easy. It's no big deal. It's just a little mix-up. No! You can't put me through something like that and then blow it off like it's nothing! But it is nothing, really. Tell him, Cordelia. No, Max. You had me hide something. What's going on? I knew it! You've been hiding things all along, being secretive so you can push us away. You're trying to push me out of this partnership and out of this family, aren't you? What? Of course not. That's not what's going on. Look, we can't be fighting. I need both of you on my side right now. For what? Tell us what's going on. Scorobius and I have been working on something, but... I can't. We just can't talk about it yet. If you're not going to give us an explanation after the FBI just finished leaving our home, then you need to think hard about your priorities, Max. Cordelia, let me take care of this, okay? Just like you took care of the FBI agents? What would have happened if they'd gotten those papers, Max? We don't do this. Where are your priorities? Clearly not with family. We don't keep secrets from each other. So what do you have to say, Max? 
What I have to say is this is bullshit. Both of you. I have always taken care of you two so that you can have your perfect little lives. But when it reverses, when I need something, you run around like a bunch of simpering infants. I don't have time for this. We are not done here, Max. I don't like what's happening to him, Cordelia. Our perfect little lives? Does he think he's the king and the savior now? <sighs> Let's just step away from this, try to collect ourselves, and talk about this when we're all more calm. Yeah, I guess that's the best idea right now. What the hell is wrong with Max? Something was definitely going on with this family. And something was definitely weighing on Max. This thing that he and Scorobius were working on, I need to know more about it. Yeah, I mean, it seems like Max and... Max and Scorobius... I mean, I don't know that much about it right now, but it seems like they're doing something illegal to presumably make more money. But why? I mean, they're fucking rich already. Who cares? Congratulations. You have $200 million instead of $100 million. Who cares? What difference does it make? You can still live the rest of your life comfortable and not even work a single additional day in your life. Like, why the fuck does it matter? Why... Why put yourself in danger? But, I don't know, maybe when I figure out what it is, I'll change my mind. Alright, so I think there's one vision left. Oh yeah, now I guess I know what she wanted help with. Yeah, so let's go do that. I'm sure I can talk to someone about this vision. They can protect Max for me. Actually, before I do that, I will be right back. Alright, I am back. Let's have a chat with John. I'm looking for John McCoy. Is that you? The one and only. What's this about? I was led to believe maybe you could help me. My brother is going to be killed. Well, you just get right to the point, huh? Look, I can try to help you, miss, but really, you should call the police. We only deal with federal cases here. Well, okay but I was told by someone that you'd be willing to hear me out. All right. You tell me what's going on, maybe I get you in touch with someone on the BPD. <sighs> Anything to distract me from how badly my football game's going. Right, I remember her journal saying that he seemed more interested in, well, like, sports games than actually doing an investigation. So I'm guessing it's this encounter that um, gave her that impression of him. You said your team was losing. What's the game you're watching? Not watching, watching. But I got a live feed of the score. Holy shit, so he's right. It's too painful to look at. Goddamn Pat's letting me down here, and I got money riding on this. I mean, come on. The Washington Redskins? I figured we'd tear them open like a Christmas present, but no! Are the Patriots doing any better? Nah, Redskins are still wailing on them. Hmm. And that's still an option. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to do something with that, but I'm not sure what. My brother, Max. He's the one who's gonna die? What evidence do you have? Well... All my life I've had this sense. I've been able to see things that haven't happened yet. Give me a break. And then they come true. I've been having these awful, scary visions. And in the Max dies! He gets killed! I heard you help with this sort of thing. You heard wrong. I don't help. I keep an open mind about things, and now someone's playing a practical joke. Who put you up to this? What? No. No one. What can I do to change your mind? You can show me your visions, or show me your dead brother. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. This whole week has been lousy. And watching the Pats get ripped apart is no help. But what am I supposed to think? You're supposed to think that you can do something for me. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Here, there's this woman, Rose. She runs an antique shop, and she's gifted. She knows about visions and things. She's been giving me some guidance. Give her a call. There's a desk down on the end you can sit at to call. All right. 
That's the conversation I saw a piece of earlier. Okay. Now wait, doesn't... Early on in this episode, didn't I see... <clears throat> uh, what was his name? I don't remember the guy's name, but like the lab, the lab technician. He installed something on Erica Reed's phone. They gave her the ability to look at case files from her phone instead of being at her desk. But didn't he also say something about he installed something to do with sports? And I have a feeling I need to use that right about now. What was so bad about this week? Talking me up won't change my mind, miss. I've been through hostage negotiation training. But if you want to know, and everyone here is sick of hearing about it, my wife's leaving me. Over 20 years together, and I, I swear, she is trying to take everything that matters to me as she goes. Uh, look, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't get into it. No, it's okay. I don't mind. It's important to talk that stuff out. Fine. But just remember, hostage negotiator. Are the Patriots doing any better? Nah, Redskins are still wailing on them. Alright, so I need to do something about that. I'm going to go think for a bit. Try to figure out what would convince you. Sure thing, kid. Aw, oh, no, why? How did they score again? Brady, come on! You can do this! Just get me a first down and cover the spread. Please! Okay, I suspect what I need to do is look at what... Like, look at what the scores would be or look at what's going to happen in just a minute. You know, so I'll tell him, like, something that's going to happen in, like, two minutes, and then he'll see it happen and be convinced. But I'd have to go back to Erica and wait. If I'm doing that, then I'm not just looking at the past. I'm actually changing the past, which would change the future. And what kind of effects is that going to have? Um, I don't know, but let's find out. Yep. Five, that's indeed what I have to do. Think of it as another's past. Erica's past. All right. Uh, where? Whoa. Okay. Thank you for closing my phone. Okay. Where is it? Mm, uh, do I just do a search? Here we go. I. <laughs> I actually don't remember who the hell it was between. Okay, the Patriots were definitely in there. And then... The Redskins? Maybe? This is the score for the Pats game John was following. Oh, okay. I do remember then. Okay, um, I don't know if... She'll know this or if I need to write this down, so let me just... Write a couple things down. Fifteen. Okay, just in case. I think she'll probably already know it, but I might need to do it myself. All right, let's go convince him. So, okay, I just changed the past. So Whoa. what the hell is that going to do in the future? So I don't know how I know it, but I know who's going to win that game. I didn't even need to focus. Right, this could not have happened until Erica got to this point, which means I'm changing the past. So this never happened, so... I have no idea what effect this could have. This could be extremely dangerous. Huh. Alright, well, maybe I can avoid Max dying, and maybe I can also avoid Erica dying, because she keeps having a vision of her... of herself getting shot. So at least I know I have a pretty good shot at changing that. Hello again, Agent McCoy. Hello, miss. What do you need? Alright. The Patriots will win. Is that game still going on? If by game you mean slaughter, then yes. My team's slaughter is progressing well. Double your bet. What? Double your bet. The Patriots are going to win 22 to 20. Get out of here. You are off your nut, lady. They can't come back. Plus, that's, that score doesn't make any sense. How are they going to get to 22? They will. If they don't, I'll cover the whole bet. And you can triple it. Give your man my name, Cordelia Smith. 
Okay, Cordelia, pleasure to uh, finally know your name. You're really serious, aren't you? This is life or death. All right, looks like Vinny accepted, and <laughs> who wouldn't a crazy bet like that? Okay, listen, kid. I, I don't know where you're getting these crazy ideas of yours, but I can see you're really fighting for this. This matters to you. You know, I'm going to regret that I ever said this, but <sighs> call it a hunch. I'll help you. Really? Thank you so much. But if any of this starts to smell funny, I am out. All right? I'll open a new case here. I have it assigned a case number, and boom. Okay, tell me what you know. And I can't stop thinking about this. Look, I can see you're scared, but it isn't exactly federal, so I can't just drop everything and run it for you. Here, this is the case number. You see that number? You can check up on any progress just by referencing it. Okay. And thank you so much, John. Really, thank you. Thank you for all your help, Agent McCoy. I need to go, but I'll be in touch. I just made him a very happy man. John, you were working with her? You were helping her? I don't believe this. Someone just sent me something. Oh, that would be the case, right? Okay. I've... Wait, can I read this? No, okay. I put in some off hours looking into private concerns that Miss Cordelia Smith brought to me. She's worried for her brother, Max Smith. She claims his life is in danger, and though she has no evidence, her conviction has strong enough... Uh, her conviction was strong enough to arouse some interest. She is absolutely convinced that Max's life is in jeopardy, and her conviction is worth something. I did some preliminary digging around, but I haven't found much to substantiate this, fortunately or unfortunately. Max made a name for himself in the business world pretty quickly and seems to have ruffled some feathers in the process. But nothing that fits in with a murder motive. Max is dead. Cordelia is locked up. When she was coherent again, she told us a code that got us to where the body was. Davy's got a confession out of her, but I don't believe she did it. I tried to appeal to McAdams, but he wouldn't hear it. He wants this to be over fast. I need to think back over the facts. We used a code to get into the room where we found Max's body, and everything was burned to cinders. Max was mostly bones, some charred flesh. It looked like either an awful accident or play to destroy evidence. But then Gallagher found a bullet mark on a rib. No evidence of why Cordelia would shoot him. No clear gain on her part and no weapon was ever recovered. There were striations and impact marks on a few other bones, but no clear cause can be attributed. I got a chance to talk to Cordelia, but she refused to say anything about Max's death. The one bit of info I did get from her was that she heard arguing coming from Max's office in the night after Davies and McAdams investigated there. The arguing stopped and Scorobius exited. Cordelia said she saw soot on him and said he smelled like burned papers. She noticed he had something clenched tightly in his hand. She said it was shiny, but couldn't tell what it was. Cordelia says she approached him and asked about the yelling. He responded by saying it was a simple disagreement and that Max wanted to be alone. She did not pry further. I talked to Mr. Scorobius about this incident, but nothing new came up. His account matched Cordelia's completely. File closed. Okay, so Max and Scorobius arguing. Uh, looks like burned papers. Okay, so they're trying to cover something up and burning evidence of what it was. Alright. I'm trying to make sure I get everything from this that I can. Right, so a code was needed to get into where Max's body was. Right, there was that bullet mark, which I had a vision of, and I actually shot the gun in that vision. Hmm. No weapon was ever recovered. I need to know what... Max and Scorobius were doing. What is it that they were trying to cover up? Well, <laughs> I need to get into the safe, and unfortunately, I'm still not any closer to that. Yep, I've done all the visions. 
The safe is probably the only thing left here. Oh, not quite. What can I do? What have I missed? I've missed something. So... what? This thing is colored to indicate danger. Let's see if there's any new hotspots where I can use my powers. I don't think so, though. No. The order in which they suffered. I still don't get that. Alright, let me do some hints. Yeah, I guess I actually could just go talk to Scorobius. Alright, let's go pay him a visit, although I don't think he's going to be very talkative. I'm not supposed to be here. Awkward silence. Agent Reed, what are you doing here? No one is allowed inside. I'm glad you think so, but I've been invited. What are you talking about? I had a little chat with your friend in the fancy suit, who so cordially invited me in and gave me the run of the place, actually. I don't know what you're up to, Agent Reed, but you had better stay in line here. This is a delicate situation. Um... Did you see what that book just did? It just floated around his back. A new sixth power discovered! And apparently Samuel McAdams is also a psionic or whatever they're called. You know something about this place. There was an investigation here that you helped on years ago. I've been doing this job for almost 25 years. And most of that time I've served right here in Boston. I've been all over this city. Mm. I don't worry about the past, Agent, because the present is where there's work to be done. That book is really distracting. How are you connected to Scorobius? He manages the Enthon Towers, <laughs> and I'm running an investigation here. <laughs> are you book. trying to insinuate something, Agent? You tell me, Director. There seems to be a lot of history here. It's not the first time I've met him. But if you'd actually done your research, that information is readily available in the database. Where is John? I know he was here. Yes, we established that earlier. He helped with the scene outside, then left. I don't believe you. John was inside this building, and I guarantee he's still here now. Agent, you'd better back down. You're really pushing your luck. Let's see how he reacts to the name Jeff Therian. If he stutters or stammers or something, or delays, then I think he recognizes the name. What do you know about Jeff Therian? Therian? How do you know that name? Uh -huh. How do you know it? It's none of your concern, Agent. Keep your focus on your cases. I'd love to, if you didn't keep stealing them from me. Your cases, Agent. You were not brought in for this investigation. See you around. I hope not. It was so nice talking to you. Now, could you stop levitating that book? There you go. Alright, so where is Scorobius? Would he be out front? I've been offered the run of the place. 
I need to take advantage of it while I'm here. Is there anyone I can ser anything I could search for? No, that's nah, that's not gonna go anywhere. Nope. Anyone I should call? I don't have any particular reason to. I don't know. Let's call uh, Terrence, the forensics guy. I don't need to call there right now. Nope. Hmm. All right. What about here? I don't think Scorpius would be up where a person was just murdered. Oh, ne never mind. Okay. Ah, oh, hello again, Ms. Reed. You. I have questions for you. Of course. Come. Admire this painting with me, and I'll answer all your little questions. Yes, actually... The painting... Does it have an author associated with it? I think this might be one of the things I'm missing. Mm, yes! Fuck yeah, okay, I was missing part of the puzzle to get at the safe. Okay. Alright, so this one... Red. I just looked down at my notes, and I was totally confused by them. My notes are crazy. They're scribbled all over the paper, and they make no sense. What the hell did I do on this paper? What the fuck? I don't even... Okay, hold on. Alright, so red associated with that. All right, let's find out who is associated with that. There we go. All right, that's the hangman, Anthony Longmore. So Anthony Longmore is red. Yeah, these notes are a complete mess. Actually, let me redo them. There is white. John is purple. Joey is green. Samuel is blue. Okay, I just need one more. Well, actually, I suppose I could probably just guess the last one, right? Yeah, I, I think I could. But anyway. All right, let's have a little chat with Scorobius. Okay, asshole. You know Cordelia. You work for her. You're going to tell me everything you know. Please. This sort of brash display might work on terrorists with double-digit IQs, but here, honestly. Do you have a warrant? Were you not in fact extended an invitation that allows your continued presence here? And can that invitation not be rescinded? Now I have said all that I am allotted to say about Ms. Smith. Listen. I don't care what sort of games you want to play. If there is anything going on here not in line with the law, I'll make sure you hang by it unless you speak up now. In that case, it sounds like we have both said our piece on the matter. I suggest that you keep the tone of any future exchanges between us more cordial than this one has been. Especially if you wish there to be future exchanges. That, he said that sort of thing might work on people like terrorists with double-digit IQs. I don't know if he realizes just how stupid of a thing that is to say. He does realize that double-digit IQ could be... Could mean that someone has an IQ of 99. He realizes that, right? 99. That could be 99. Which is so close to 100 that it might as well be 100. Which is, 100 IQ is literally the average. That is, the center. So, 
That was meant to sound clever, but it didn't. Because double digit IQ could range anywhere from 10 to 99. Okay. Tell me about this painting. You're just standing here looking at the painting? Indeed. You've been looking at it for a little while. You were educated in a far more fast-paced and self-indulgent era, so let me explain. I am not standing here begging to be taken somewhere by a fleeting entertainment. Actual art, my dear, requires something of you. Hard work. So yes, an hour with the painting is not uncommon for me. An hour? I... okay. I can't imagine staring at a painting for an hour would be any fun or interesting. I mean, it's not that big. <laughs> but, alright, whatever you say. What do you do here, exactly? As I already said, I am the Smith family lawyer. At one point, Cordelia's brother Max and I worked long hours getting together all sorts of business plans, working out business models. Now my role is something a bit more lackadaisical, keeping the minor business details in order, doing a few consultations here and there, looking after the towers. Do you know anyone named Jeff Therian? Do I know anyone? No. What an odd question. Mm-hmm. Of course he doesn't. Bullshit. Just before Max Smith's death, you were working on something with him. I need to know what. Unfortunately, those were private matters. Nothing I can disclose to you. There was a lot of strife in the family at this time, but it seems like you and Max got along pretty well, if you were working together. Are you playing some sort of game? Getting me to discuss the fight I had with Max just prior to his death won't implicate me in anything. You surely already know that an FBI agent was here and asked all about this. Asked about what? What fight? A small scuffle. We were in his office one night, burning some old documents. A fire was going, and he started with some hot-headed accusations. He'd been getting increasingly paranoid, and this was its peak. I'm ashamed to say I lost my composure. I struck him. Struck him? What, you gave him a backhand or something? This was not one of my prouder moments. I had Cordelia's silver necklace in hand. I swung and gave him a hit on the head. Nothing severe. That's all I'll say about this. Wow, when your family lawyer punches you in the head, you know you've done something wrong. Well, keep watching the paint dry. I need to go. And if you're hiding something from me... I wouldn't do anything to obstruct the workings of the law. I am a lawyer, after all. Exactly. All right, if I can get at that necklace, then I can I should be able to get a very good and very strong vision from it of exactly what was happening. Okay, so is there another painting? Wait a minute. Wasn't Wasn't there a painting in the main hall? Yeah. Hold on. Let's go back to the lobby. There it is. Okay, I don't even need to look at it. It's orange. Alright, let's see who's associated with that. I think it's Sully. Yep, there you go. Sully is orange. Got them all. Alright, let's go figure out what's in that safe. I'm betting it's the necklace, and then I can get a good reading from that. Or maybe it's the necklace plus some other things.
Okay, so the order in which they suffered. First one was... Wait, what the hell did I write here? Let me cross that out. Okay, first first one was Antony Longmore. He was the first one that was hanged. In the very beginning of the first episode. So that's red. Um, and then at the end of the first episode, Davies died. That's white. John and Samuel are both alive, so they're not in this. So it's Sully and Joey. Um, Sully, which is orange, was next. And then Joey was just killed at the beginning of this episode, which is green. So it should be red, white, orange, green. Okay. Here we go. Please, please, please work. Red, white, orange, and green. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes, that yes. was it. All right, let's see what we've gotten here. That is not a necklace, that's a piece of a burned document. Okay, so Scorobius was... Or Scorobius and Max were burning something. But then either Cordelia or Max must have saved one of the documents. So someone was burning something that someone else didn't want to be burnt. Maybe that's why they were arguing. Maybe Max wanted to keep it. Okay, so what is it? Let's see. It's an old document that's been partially burned and then laminated back together. Okay, not a lot to go on. It's got that name Jeff Therian on it, but the paper's too damaged. I can't read the finer details. There's a signature on it as well. Scarbles? No, Scorobius. Scorobius signed this. Not the family jewels I was expecting, but at least there's something in here. Alright, so now I have concrete proof that Scorobius knows about Jeff Therian. But what is this document actually doing? I'll just take a picture of this and send it to Terence. A lot of official documents are digitized now, so he should be able to run a search to see if it's on record and fully legible. Alright. I think I do... Wait. I guess she already has a picture of it. Do I just call Terrence? I don't need to call there right now. Um, what? It's an old brittle document fragment that would probably disintegrate if it wasn't in this plastic sheath. Okay, well I can't seem to take a picture of it. Can't call Terence. What do I do with it? Uh, bring it to Scorobius and shove it in his face? Or can I actually leave and, like, physically take it? To the lab? I don't know, it feels like I'm supposed to stay in this apartment. Uh, in the Anthon Towers until I've solved the entire thing, though. I don't know, let's go talk to Scorobius. It seems like it'd be a smarter thing, though, to see if I could find out what the document is before I present it to him. You know, so I have some more concrete evidence. Awkward silence. There we go. I really can't take a picture of that, huh? Is there nothing I can do here? Doesn't look like it. You signed this. Does it look familiar? It's burned. I can't make out what it says, so I couldn't tell you. Okay, I think I need to leave. I've been offered the run of the plate. Okay. I didn't think I could leave, so then what? 
how do I digitize this? I don't understand. I can't combine them. What about this? Oh. Well, it's this piece of it. Uh, a piece of it. But I need something else. So that doesn't help me. I, I don't understand. Aren't I supposed to take a picture of it and then send it to Terrence? But I can't take a picture of it, so what the... F Help! Help, Rose! Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. The necklace. And now that I know the necklace is relevant, is it over... Just in her jewelry? I think that's it. This is the necklace yep. that Scorobius was talking about. The one he struck Max with. Alright, this should give me a good reading. Here we go. Alright, what exactly happened? You have to stop this insanity about telling Keith and Cordelia. Max, I've told you a thousand times why we have to do it like this. There are legalities involved. Things that you are better off letting me handle. I've been reading about how you handled it. What have you been doing snooping around in my basement? Educating myself. I might not have understood why you used me to get Keith to sign all those documents over the years. <laughs> but I understand it now. My parents weren't trying to punish me. They didn't set up our inheritance to go through Jeff Therian. It was you. And there are people who wouldn't mind knowing about this. You know, people who bang gavels. Or maybe one of those FBI agents that were just here. Of course, because you can wash your hands of it. You've done what you must to take the money from Jeff down to the last penny you've spent. Yes, I told some lies and I broke some laws. I can own up to that. But Cordelia is asking questions and Keith is getting suspicious. Look at this. That was my mother's, passed on to Cordelia, but Keith had it. They know something is wrong here, and they're working together to find it out. I won't let you pull my family apart. I trusted you all these years, so now I'm going to ask you this, and I'll ask it once. What is this? You would never understand. All you do is moan about how much money you need and need and need. Here's the difference between us, Max. I don't need you or your pesky little sister for anything. Of course you don't. God, Cordelia sensed something was wrong. Why didn't I listen? Jeff has all the money. You made sure of that. And if anything happens to him, the money doesn't go to me or Cordelia. If he dies, it goes right to you. Get out of my way. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Out! Well, that was illuminating. Oh, God. What was that? Is that going to happen? Is Scorobius going to hurt Max? And now I can stop it. Fuck you, Scorobius. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's not in here. Okay. Um... Um... Okay, what am I doing? Hey, Keith, there are a couple things I wanted to say. 
Okay. What things? Keith, there's something I need to tell you. I didn't want to bring it up before, but something's going on. I've been having these visions. What are you talking about? Look, I didn't want to upset you, but I've been seeing visions where Max gets killed. At first I thought it was me who killed him, but something is going on between Max and Scorobius. I'm worried. And now I find out Scorobius has some kind of secret room in Max's office. Killed? Are you sure about this? Uh, I know you're good at predictions, but... Trust me, Keith. This is real. I know about the elevator. I had a work area in the basement until Max and I got into that fight. He said he'd need to rethink my privileges, and he changed the code. A secret room, you don't say. So I think th this must be like shortly after the fight? So maybe it wasn't me that shot... Like, maybe her, she doesn't have very good control of her vision, so she thought it was her that killed Max. But maybe it's actually Scorobius? Trying to cover his tracks? I don't know, let's find out. I need to get into that room to find out what's going on. I don't know the code anymore, Cordelia. Believe me, I'd love to find out whatever it is that they're doing and drag it into the daylight. Is there any other way we can get down there? No, the elevator is the only way. But, wait, I know. I have something here that can help us. When we're done here, I'll fill you in. Okay, sounds great, whatever it is. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about what happened with those agents earlier. I didn't want to upset you, but I needed to help Max. Yeah, well, I guess I understand. But you can imagine how it feels to be in that position, right? To be taking a hit for him when he wouldn't take one for me? You shouldn't be so hard on him, but I do understand. And all I can do is say I'm sorry. We'll sort through this. Okay, if that's all, take a look at this. What is it? It's the rocket ship from the Ori that's upstairs. The thing with the planets. I outfitted it with a camera. I was going to use it to find out what Max has been hiding from us, but this is the perfect use for it. If you bring it down, we can use it to capture the code we need. I'll get the camera ready. Oh. S sweet. I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with it. Am I going to watch, like, place it in the elevator and see when someone enters the code or something? I'm confused, but okay, let's go. Wait, what? Nah, I don't like to leave the apartment unless there's something I need to do. I would say saving your brother is a pretty important thing. I, I keep like getting confused, like what am I doing? Uh, I'll get the camera ready, like, okay, where do I go now? Okay, I don't grab anything from here, so... What the hell? She just teleported. Twice. Okay, do I just talk to him? No, I, I can't even talk to him. What the hell? And I have no inventory items. He's occupied and I have my own part of the mission to carry out. I guess I should go set up the orrery. What a stupid word. No kidding, it's like impossible to say. Orrery. 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 It's horrible, and what what am I setting it up to do? I don't even know what it is. I mean, what the hell's an orrery? Okay, I'm doing something with the orrery. Um... <laughs> and I've now just discovered, uh, what is that, the seventh or eighth power? I have the ability to make objects small. Unless I've already mentioned that as one of my powers. That was perfect, I look, she just grabbed it and then she just shrunk it down. You know, just And now it's tiny. And in her shirt somewhere. She absorbed it. She carries objects by osmosis. She just absorbs them. 